is the world's second smallest continent, drawing more than 710 million visitors every year. Known as the Cradle of Civilization, it has been central to the evolution of humanity and is deemed the origin of Western civilization. The profound impact of Europe on global culture, politics, philosophy, and art secures its status as a top destination for travelers worldwide. From the ancient wonders of Meteora to the Seven Hills of Rome, here are the 25 best places to visit in Europe. 25. Pompeii, Italy Pompeii, located in southern Italy's Campania region, was an ancient city that flourished under Roman rule. In 79 AD, Vesuvius erupted, burying Pompeii under a thick layer of ash and pumice. Artifacts from furniture to clothing were encased, and casts made from the voids left by decomposed bodies reveal the human stories of that day. The best times to visit are during spring and fall, when the weather is mild and there are fewer people, so you can wander the ancient streets and experience the city almost as it was centuries ago. The Forum, the center of public life, showcases ruins of temples, markets, and government buildings. Walking through, you can almost hear the echoes of merchants and citizens who once gathered here. Meanwhile, the thermal baths, with their sophisticated heating system, highlight the Romans' ingenuity and the social importance of the baths in their daily life. The amphitheater, where gladiators fought, offers a glimpse into the entertainment of the era. Here, you'll find hidden gems, like the Scola Armaturarum, revealing insights into the training of gladiators. In contrast, the House of the Vetti displays luxurious frescoes, revealing the wealth and artistic appreciation of its owners. 24. Berlin, Germany Berlin sits on the banks of the Spree River as Germany's capital and its largest city. With more than 17,000 bridges, Berlin offers unique views and experiences that exceed those of Venice. It's home to over 170 museums, catering to a wide range of interests from art to history. The Berlin Wall Memorial and the Brandenburg Gate stand as reminders of the city's past struggles and triumphs, each offering you a chance to connect with Germany's history. The Reichstag building, with its stunning glass dome, provides an excellent vantage point over Berlin. Meanwhile, Museum Island, featuring five world-renowned museums, invites you to explore vast collections of ancient and modern art. And Gendarmen Market, a picturesque square, is surrounded by the French and German cathedrals and the Concert House, offering a peaceful retreat amidst the city's energy where architecture and music come together, reflecting Berlin's cultural diversity. Berlin is committed to sustainability and green initiatives, so its parks and gardens offer a green escape from the urban environment, showing Berlin's efforts in promoting renewable energy and environmental conservation. 23. Brussels, Belgium Brussels is the lively capital of Belgium, home to the Mannequin Peace statue, a symbol of Brussels' unique sense of humor. This statue remains a beloved figure, showcasing the resilient spirit of the city. The Grand Palace at the city's core is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for its stunning mix of Gothic and Baroque architecture. This square is not just a feast for the eyes, but also a lively place where you can enjoy Belgian beer and waffles at a local cafe after exploring its rich history through a guided tour. Nearby, the Atomium, a remnant of the 1958 World's Fair, stands as a monument to innovation. It offers panoramic views of Brussels from its upper sphere and houses exhibitions that merge history with futuristic concepts. The high-speed elevator to the top provides a unique perspective of the city. Art lovers will appreciate the Royal Museums of Fine Arts, where Belgian and European art from various centuries is on display. The collection includes works by Bruegel, Rubens, and Magritte, allowing you to immerse yourself in the region's artistic heritage. Whether you spend a day exploring or taking a focused tour, there's much to see. And Brussels' reputation for chocolate, waffles, and fries is well-deserved. Sampling these treats is a must-do, offering a taste of Belgian culinary traditions that are known worldwide. 22. Bologna, Italy Bologna, the capital of the Emilia-Romagna region in northern Italy, stands proudly at the foot of the Apennines. This city is not just the largest in the region, but also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its extensive network of porticos. These covered walkways total over 38 kilometers, providing shelter for you as you walk and contributing to a unique urban environment that characterizes Bologna. In the heart of Bologna, Piazza Maggiore acts as a central gathering spot surrounded by notable structures like the Palazzo da Curzio, the Basilica di San Petronio, and the Fountain of Neptune. Conversely, the two towers, Asinelli and Garisenda, are another highlight, offering panoramic views of the city to those who climb them. Asinelli 
The taller of the two is particularly popular with you if you're eager for a bird's eye view of Bologna. The city is also known as La Dota due to its prestigious university. The University of Bologna is a historic institution, holding the title of the oldest university in the Western world. As you wander through its ancient buildings and courtyards, you can sense the academic atmosphere that has pervaded the city for centuries. Meanwhile, the Quadrilatero, or Mercato di Mezzo, is an area in the city center that is a haven for you if you love food, offering shops and stalls that sell fresh produce and local specialties like tortellini and mortadella. 21. Kyrka National Park Kyrka National Park is located in southern Croatia. Established in 1985, this park was designed to safeguard the river's ecosystem, offering a peaceful retreat filled with stunning landscapes. The park flourishes during the shoulder months of April through June and September to October, when the weather is mild and the crowds are smaller, providing an ideal setting for exploration. At the center of the park is Skradinsky Buk, a series of captivating waterfalls surrounded by lush greenery. Here, you can walk along wooden boardwalks that provide stunning views of the falls. If you're interested in experiencing the falls up close, you can swim in the cool waters beneath them and a boat ride upriver offers a unique perspective of the waterfalls, enriching your experience with scenic views. Visovats Island, located in the middle of the Kurka River, is another notable spot that features a 15th century Franciscan monastery along its natural beauty. You can take a boat trip to the island and explore the monastery's gardens. The quiet and tranquility of the island contrasts with the dynamic scenes at Skradinsky Buk, offering a different kind of serenity. Further upstream, the Kurka Monastery, founded in the 14th century, overlooks the river. This Franciscan monastery is notable for its collection of religious artifacts, so you can tour the monastery, possibly attend a mass, and enjoy the scenic views of the Kurka River, adding a spiritual dimension to your visit. 20. Meteora, Greece Meteora is located in the Thessalid region of northwestern Greece. The name Meteora means suspended in the air, describing the massive rock pillars that rise from the plains of Thessaly. These geological wonders, shaped by millions of years of erosion, are home to monasteries that seem to float above the earth. Crafted with ropes, pulleys, baskets, and complex systems of levers and winches, these monasteries represent a unique architectural achievement, each with its own ancient frescoes and spiritual significance. They have been pivotal in preserving ancient Greek texts and knowledge, especially during the Ottoman period, serving not only as places of worship, but also as centers of learning and art. Among the most famous are the Great Meteoran Monastery, the largest and oldest, and the Vardla Monastery, known for its exquisite frescoes. The Holy Monastery of Rusinal also stands out for welcoming women, offering insights into monastic life. The best times to explore Meteora are during spring and fall, when the weather is mild and the area is less crowded. This period allows you to fully enjoy the serene beauty and historical depth of Meteora without the inconvenience of large crowds. And the town of Calabaca, near Meteora, provides a convenient base for your visit. It offers a range of accommodations, restaurants, and shops to cater to your needs, where you can indulge in the local culture and cuisine, making your stay even more enjoyable. 19. Milan, Italy Milan is the regional capital of Lombardy in northern Italy and ranks as the second most populous city in the country. While Milan is a captivating destination throughout the year, the best times to visit are during the spring months of April and May and the fall months of September and October. During these periods, the weather is more pleasant and you can explore the city more comfortably with fewer people around. In Milan, the Duomo di Milano stands out as a remarkable example of Gothic architecture and is recognized as the largest church in Italy. Its construction spanned from the 14th to the 19th century, highlighting centuries of architectural evolution. You can climb to the top of the Duomo to enjoy panoramic views of Milan. Close by, the Santa Maria delle Grazie offers a unique experience with Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, one of the most famous murals globally housed within its walls. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, known for its luxurious shops and beautiful architecture, is considered one of the oldest shopping malls in the world. Walking through this gallery, you can appreciate the beauty of the structure and maybe even treat yourself to something special. Meanwhile, the Castello Sforzesco, built in the 15th century, now serves as a cultural center, housing several museums, including the Pinacoteca di Brera, with its vast collection of Italian art, and the Teatro alla Scala, 
one of the most prestigious opera houses, has hosted numerous renowned opera singers since its opening in 1778. 18. Santa Claus Village Santa Claus Village, located in Rovaniemi, Finland, transforms the idea of Christmas into a year-round celebration. This amusement park, right on the Arctic Circle, offers a unique setting where the joy of the holiday season is ever-present. Since its opening, the village has grown into a beloved destination where adults and children alike can immerse themselves in the wonders of Christmas, attracting over 600,000 guests yearly. Here, the world's largest mailbox stands as a focal point, where countless wishes and dreams are sent to Santa from across the globe. The village has its own postal code, 96931, making every letter sent from here extra special. More than just a place for festive cheer, it's a community committed to the Santa Claus Pledge, promoting peace and understanding worldwide. One of the main attractions is the opportunity to meet Santa Claus. In his office, families share their dreams and wishes, creating lasting memories. But the experiences extend far beyond this. You can cross the Arctic Circle and receive a certificate to commemorate the moment, send postcards with a unique Santa Claus postmark, and even join in elf workshops to see the toy-making process up close. If you're interested in more adventurous activities, reindeer sleigh rides and husky safaris offer a thrilling way to explore the snowy forests of Lapland, while Santa Park, an underground amusement park filled with Christmas-themed rides and attractions, provides fun for the whole family. Now, I know you're getting excited about all these amazing places to visit, but if you're eager to travel the world to explore new locations, cultures, foods, and much more, while taking a breather from your everyday life, you also know it can cost you quite a lot of money. With the Travel on a Dime ebook, you have the opportunity to make the most out of any place you visit without overspending on your travel budget. From finding the right flights and hotel deals to money-saving tips during your trip, it's the perfect guide to help you travel like a pro, ensuring you have a great experience while saving hundreds of dollars on travel. To get your own copy, all you have to do is click the link in the description below this video. 17. Florence, Italy Florence, the capital of Tuscany, lies along the banks of the Arno River in central Italy. This city serves as a living museum where art and architectural marvels from the Renaissance era are on full display. The Duomo, or the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, is a notable landmark in Florence. Its dome, designed by Brunelleschi, is a feat of engineering from the Renaissance. By climbing to the top, you gain access to a breathtaking view of the city. Nearby, the Galleria dell'Accademia houses Michelangelo's David, showcasing Renaissance artistry. The Uffizi Gallery, another important museum, displays works by Botticelli and Da Vinci, among others, while the Ponte Vecchio, a bridge filled with jewelry shops provides a link to the city's past when butchers occupied these spaces. In addition to well-known sites, Florence offers many lesser-known attractions. The Piazzale Michelangelo gives a panoramic view of the city, making it a perfect spot for sunset views. Similarly, the Giardino Bardini and the Palazzo Medici Riccardi offer peaceful escapes with stunning views and insights into the lives of Florence's historical residents. And the Mercato Centrale presents an opportunity to engage with local food culture, offering fresh Tuscan produce and other local foods. To enhance your experience in Florence, consider getting a Firenze card, which provides access to various museums and public transport within the city. 16. Dublin, Ireland Dublin's name, originating from the Gaelic Dublin, meaning Black Pool, reflects the dark waters of the River Liffey's mouth. Dublin also stands out for its innovations, such as introducing the first gas-powered public lighting system in Europe, illuminating its streets to ensure the safety of the city's nightlife. Dublin is home to several iconic landmarks that showcase its history and culture, like the Dublin Castle and St. Patrick's Cathedral that are monuments to Ireland's beauty. Meanwhile, Trinity College, one of Europe's oldest universities, houses the Book of Kells, an illustrious manuscript symbolizing the city's medieval scholarly achievements, and Kilmenheim Gull, offers a somber reminder of Ireland's fight for independence, making these sites key to understanding Dublin's past. If you're interested in less frequented spots, the Chester Beatty Library displays a diverse collection of manuscripts and artifacts from around the world. And if you're looking to just relax, Dolly Mount Strand provides a peaceful escape with opportunities to swim and windsurf, allowing you to experience beyond the normal city life. 15. Amalfi Coast, Italy 
The Amalfi Coast stretches 50 kilometers along the southern edge of Italy's Sorrentine Peninsula, comprising 13 towns. The best times to visit are during April through May and September through October, which provide pleasant weather, fewer crowds, and better deals on accommodation, making it an ideal time to explore the area in peace. Positano, a notable spot, is known for its pastel-colored houses that cascade down the cliffs to the sea. Narrow streets wind through the town, leading you to the beach, where you can relax or take a boat tour to see the grottos. Meanwhile, the Church of Santa Maria Assunta and the Museo Mirelagiolico Romantico are worth a visit, offering insights into the town's rich history. If you're adventurous, you can hike the trail to Spiaggia Grande Beach or take a boat tour to see the Grotta della Smeraldo. Meanwhile, in Amalfi, this historic maritime center captivates with its beautiful cathedral and the cloister of paradise. The town's winding streets are lined with shops and restaurants, creating a lively atmosphere around the harbor where you can explore the Duomo, wander the streets, and watch the boats, fully immersing yourself in the local culture. Conversely, Ravello, set atop the cliffs, offers stunning views of the coastline, while the gardens of Villa Rufolo provide a serene setting to enjoy the landscape. 14. Oxford, UK Oxford, a historic city in central southern England, is renowned for its university colleges characterized by Gothic towers and spires. This unique architecture has earned the city the nickname City of Dreaming Spires. The University of Oxford stands at the heart of the city's appeal. Here, you can explore historical colleges like Magdalen College and Christ Church College, where you can experience the city from the water with a punting tour on the River Sherwell. Other notable attractions include the Ashmolean Museum, showcasing a vast array of archaeological artifacts and historical pieces. Similarly, the Bodleian Libraries house a collection of over 13 million items, ranging from medieval manuscripts to printed books. And the Pitt Rivers Museum offers insights into world archaeology and anthropology, while the Oxford Botanic Garden, established in 1621, displays an extensive collection of plants from around the world. For a more unique experience, the medieval Oxford Walk reveals the city's hidden alleyways and secret gardens alongside the covered market as a destination for fresh produce, local crafts, and souvenirs, providing a glimpse into the normal life of Oxford. 13. Monaco Monaco, a sovereign city-state on the French Riviera, is recognized globally not just for its prestigious status, but also for being the most densely populated country in the world. The history of Monaco is deeply intertwined with the Grimaldi family, who have ruled since 1297. The late 19th century marked a pivotal era for Monaco with the opening of the Monte Carlo Casino, and a railway link to France transformed Monaco into the famed resort it is today. Despite its diminutive area, Monaco exudes a charm and sophistication unmatched by any other, making it a coveted destination and home to several iconic landmarks. For example, the Grimaldi Palace gives you a glimpse into the royal lifestyle, showcasing the state apartments and the Palatine Chapel. Meanwhile, the Oceanographic Museum, established by Prince Albert I, displays a comprehensive collection of sea life and aquatic exhibits. Beyond the renowned attractions, Monaco reveals its quieter side through its less frequented spots. The Japanese garden offers a peaceful retreat with its beautifully designed landscapes, while the Monaco Cathedral impresses with its neo-Romanesque architecture. And the exotic garden stands out for its extensive collection of succulents, providing stunning panoramic views of Monaco. 12. Munich, Germany Munich, the capital of Bavaria in southern Germany, is captivating throughout the year. The city shines during spring and fall when the weather is most agreeable for wandering its streets. If experiencing the famous Oktoberfest is on your agenda, plan to be in the city in late September or early October. The central square, Marienplatz, is a must-see, known for the glockenspiel chimes at the New Town Hall, which reenact 16th century stories. Nearby, the Hofbrauhaus, established in 1589, offers a taste of Bavarian beer culture and is known as the site of the world's first public beer garden. Munich also has the English Garden, one of the largest urban parks where you can relax by the Eichbach River, rent a boat, or visit the Chinese tea house. And the Deutsches Museum presents over 70,000 exhibits on science and technology, ranging from space exploration to robotics, while Nymphenburg Palace, the summer residence of Bavarian monarchs, displays luxurious gardens and staterooms. In addition to well-known sites, Munich offers unique experiences, like watching surfers on the Eichbach River, 
exploring the peaceful Hof Garden behind the residence or tasting Bavarian specialties at the Victualin Market. In addition, the Dachau Concentration Camp Memorial Site provides a sobering look at its history, while the BMW Welt celebrates automotive innovation. 11. Barcelona, Spain Barcelona is a captivating seaside city in Spain where two languages, Spanish and Catalan, are spoken side by side. Spring, April to May, and autumn, September to October, are the best times to explore Barcelona, where the weather and moderate crowds make it comfortable to wander around and see the sights. Meanwhile, summer, June to August, in Barcelona is filled with vibrant celebrations. Among Barcelona's must-see attractions is the Sagrada Familia, Designed by Antoni Gaudí, this basilica is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its captivating architecture and intricate details. Park Güell, another creation of Gaudí, is a public park that features stunning mosaics, sculptures, and offers panoramic views of the city, where you can appreciate art and nature simultaneously. Meanwhile, Casa Batlló, also designed by Gaudí, stands out with its undulating facade and quirky design elements. A guided tour here allows you to appreciate the architectural brilliance up close. Barcelona also has its share of lesser-known gems, like the Montjuic Hill, offering stunning city views, peaceful gardens, and historic sites like Montjuic Castle, and the National Museum of Catalan Art, where you can enjoy scenic beauty away from the crowds. Similarly, the Santa Caterina Market is a vibrant market filled with fresh produce, local delicacies, and handcrafted goods, an ideal spot for those interested in tasting the local flavors and shopping for unique items. 10. London, UK London is the capital city of England and the United Kingdom, highlighting its status as one of the most diverse cities in the world. London has the world's oldest underground railway system, the London Underground, also known as the Tube, which is an essential experience for navigating the city, so you can visit London's key attractions. Among its attractions, Buckingham Palace stands out as the official residence of the British monarchy. Watching the changing of the guard ceremony is a popular activity here, showcasing traditional British pageantry. Nearby, the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben are iconic landmarks, where you can take a guided tour to learn about British politics and history. Meanwhile, the London Eye provides stunning panoramic views of the city, especially impressive at night. For a more unique experience, the British Museum houses a vast collection of antiquities from around the world, with the Rosetta Stone, Egyptian mummies, and the Parthenon sculptures among its highlights. And the Tower of London, a historic castle, allows you to see the crown jewels and learn about the building's history as a palace, prison, and armory. If you want to connect with locals, the Borough Market is a historic marketplace selling fresh produce, international foods, and artisan goods. Perfect for sampling dishes from around the world or finding unique gifts. 9. Canary Islands The Canary Islands, a Spanish archipelago off the coast of northwestern Africa, hold a fascinating narrative that unfolds across seven main islands. Named after the wild dogs encountered by early explorers, these islands date back thousands of years, with the indigenous Guanches, believed to be Berber people from North Africa, as the first inhabitants. The climate of the Canary Islands is subtropical, ensuring warm temperatures throughout the year, making the archipelago an ideal destination any time you wish to visit. Among the must-visit places is Mount Teide National Park in Tenerife, home to Mount Teide, Spain's highest peak. This UNESCO World Heritage Site provides an opportunity to hike its trails, explore volcanic landscapes, and enjoy the surreal natural beauty. Similarly, Timon Faya National Park on Lanzarote showcases the island's volcanic marvels. Here, you can ride camels through the lava fields, visit volcanic caves, and watch geothermal demonstrations. An interesting fact about the Canary Islands is their status as a prime location for stargazing, thanks to minimal light pollution and clear skies. Mount Data National Park, in particular, is recognized as a starlight tourist destination, providing exceptional conditions for observing the stars and constellations. 8. Dubrovnik, Croatia Dubrovnik is a city on the southern coast of Croatia, right along the Adriatic coast. It's a place of stark beauty and resilience, having been restored to its former glory after the damage it suffered during the Croatian War of Independence in the early 1990s. The city has a year-round appeal, offering different experiences across all seasons. This city presents a range of historical and cultural landmarks. The city walls of Dubrovnik, built in the 16th century, are a highlight, offering stunning views of both the city and the sea. 
These walls encircled the Old Town and provided a unique perspective on the area's architecture. Close by, the Rector's Palace, a blend of Gothic and Renaissance architecture, now functions as a museum showcasing Dubrovnik's history. It's a significant stop if you're interested in learning about the city's governance and social life in past centuries. Another notable site is the St. Blaise Church, recognized easily by its Baroque architecture. Rebuilt in the 18th century after an earthquake, this church holds a special place in the hearts of locals and honors the city's patron saint. On the other hand, Stradun, Dubrovnik's main street, is lined with shops, restaurants, and cafes, providing a lively atmosphere where you can absorb the city's modern life while surrounded by its ancient walls. 7. Vatican City Vatican City is the world's smallest independent state, surrounded entirely by Rome, Italy. With around 800 permanent residents, it stands out as the smallest country globally by both population and area. The Lateran Treaty of 1929, a significant agreement between the Holy See and Italy, established Vatican City's independence. This treaty ensured the Pope's ability to govern the Catholic Church without external interference. Among the city's attractions, St. Peter's Basilica is a focal point, known as the largest church worldwide. Inside, you can admire Michelangelo's Pieta sculpture and the impressive dome designed by Michelangelo, which offers panoramic views of Rome. Similarly, the Vatican museums present a vast collection of artworks and artifacts gathered by the popes over centuries. Notable highlights here include the Sistine Chapel, famous for Michelangelo's ceiling frescoes, the Raphael Rooms, and the Egyptian Museum, providing a comprehensive look at the church's rich history. Also, Vatican City offers unique experiences beyond its well-known landmarks, like the Scavi Tour, for example. It allows you to explore beneath St. Peter's Basilica, where you can see the Necropolis, an ancient Roman cemetery thought to be St. Peter's final resting place. Also, the Vatican Gardens offer a quiet retreat from the city, showcasing beautifully landscaped grounds that provide a peaceful contrast to the surrounding urban environment. 6. Tromsø, Norway Tromsø is an island city in northern Norway, known as the Gateway to the Arctic. This reflects its unique position as a starting point for Arctic adventures throughout the year. One of the city's most notable landmarks is the Arctic Cathedral. This architectural wonder, consecrated in 1965, captures the eye with its distinctive triangular shape and impressive stained glass windows. Inside, the ambiance and artistry encourage a sense of peace and reflection. Close by, the Tromsø cable car offers a path to breathtaking views. As you ascend Mount Storsteinen, the landscape unfolds below, revealing the city, fjords, and mountains in all their glory. At the top, there's a restaurant where the stunning views complement the dining experience. Polaria, the world's northernmost aquarium, provides insights into Arctic marine life. Here, you can see seals, penguins, and various fish species, learning about their habitats and behaviors, while the Tromsø Museum adds another layer to your understanding of the region, with its exhibits covering a wide range of topics, from Sami culture to the history of Arctic exploration. Tromsø is not only a destination for adventure, but also a center for academic and scientific research. It is home to the world's northernmost university and botanical garden. The Arctic Alpine Botanical Garden displays plants from across the Arctic, and the Aurora Observatory has been at the forefront of Northern Lights research since 1913. 5. Rome, Italy Rome is the capital city of Italy, holding its distinction as a city built on seven hills, which gives it the nickname City of Seven Hills. Rome's history is one of the most compelling aspects of the city, having been continuously inhabited since its founding by twin brothers Romulus and Remus in 753 BC. This city transitioned from a small city-state to the heart of the powerful Roman Empire, influencing much of Europe and Northern Africa. The impact of the Roman Empire is still visible today in modern language, law, and government structures, highlighting Rome's nickname, the Eternal City. In Rome, the historical sites form a core part of the experience. The Colosseum stands out as an iconic amphitheater from the first century AD, where you can learn about its history of gladiatorial contests. Meanwhile, the Trevi Fountain, known for its stunning Baroque design, allows you to throw a coin in to ensure your return to Rome, and the Vatican City, surrounded entirely by Rome, offers a chance to visit St. Peter's Square, St. Peter's Basilica, and the Vatican Museums, which include Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling. 
and the Roman Forum and the Pantheon are significant sites where the ancient world comes alive. Beyond these well-known attractions, Rome also offers hidden gems like the Baths of Caracalla that provide insight into Roman bathing culture, while the Orange Garden on the Aventine Hill offers stunning views of the city and the Capuchin Crypt displays a unique chapel decorated with the bones of over 4,000 Capuchin monks. 4. Amsterdam, Netherlands Amsterdam, located in the Western Netherlands, captivates with its network of picturesque canals. This city, partly below sea level, is defined by over 1,500 bridges that connect the city in a way that is unique globally. Walking or cruising along these canals offers a glimpse into the true beauty of the city. Amsterdam's heart beats strongest at its famous sites like the Canal Ring, recognized by UNESCO, that is a focal point for anyone looking to immerse in the city's historic layout. Likewise, museums like the Rijksmuseum and the Van Gogh Museum showcase the Netherlands' artistic legacy, featuring works from the Dutch Golden Age and the expressive paintings of Vincent van Gogh, while the Anne Frank House shares a powerful narrative of history, providing insight into the lives of those who sought refuge during World War II. Among Amsterdam's hidden gems are the Beginghof, providing a peaceful escape within the city, offering a glimpse into its religious history, and the Hit Grating Museum, expands your understanding of the canal system's impact on Amsterdam's development. In regards to the city's historical significance, the red light district holds hidden spots like the Old Kirk, adding layers to Amsterdam's unique story. 3. Lisbon, Portugal Lisbon stands as a city where every alley and street corner reveals a piece of Portugal. The climate of Lisbon is most welcoming during spring and fall. These seasons offer mild and sunny weather, ideal for exploring the city in the most comfortable conditions. This tram not only connects various parts of Lisbon, but also serves as a moving vantage point from which you can admire the city's beauty and the vibrancy of everyday life. Among Lisbon's many attractions, São Jorge Castle provides breathtaking views of the city and the Tacos River as its ancient walls and towers invite you to explore its history and enjoy its gardens. Similarly, the Gironimos Monastery and Belém Tower, both recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, showcase the unique Manueline architecture style. In Portugal's Maritime Heritage, the National Tile Museum and the Lisbon Oceanarium offer different but equally fascinating perspectives on Portuguese culture and natural history, highlighting the country's artistic traditions and biodiversity. Lisbon's calendar is filled with festivals that reflects the city's communal spirit and cultural heritage. In June, the Festas de Lisboa and the Santo Antonio celebrations transform the city with music, parades, and traditional foods like grilled sardines. These events not only provide a glimpse into Lisbon's traditions, but also bring people together from all walks of life to share in the festivities. 2. Paris, France Paris, known as the City of Lights, reflects its early adoption of street lighting that holds a distinct place in the world. Here, the Paris Metro stands as one of the oldest subway systems globally, with 16 lines and over 300 stations offering a network that connects the entire city, allowing you to go from one landmark to another with ease. A notable landmark is the Eiffel Tower, originally intended as a temporary structure for the 1889 World's Fair. It's become the most recognizable symbol of Paris. Its preservation over the years allows you to enjoy breathtaking city views from its summit showing a unique view of Paris. Nearby, the Musée du Louvre houses an extensive collection of art and historical pieces, including the Mona Lisa and Venus de Milo, celebrating artistic achievements while also serving as a bridge connecting past and present through its exhibits. A short trip from Paris leads you to the Palace of Versailles, a symbol of royal extravagance with its magnificent gardens and staterooms. This site showcases the lavish lifestyle of French royalty and offers insights into the country's history. Beyond these well-known sites, Paris reveals hidden gems, like the Saint-Chapelle, known for its stunning stained glass windows, and the Jardin du Luxembourg, a peaceful retreat from the city's pace, while the Canal Saint-Martin offers a scenic walk or boat ride, enhanced by the cafes and bars along its banks in summer. 1. Venice, Italy Venice is a city like no other, built on over 100 small islands on the Adriatic Sea. Without roads, the city relies on a network of canals for transportation, making boats and walking the primary means of getting around. The shoulder seasons from April to June and September to October offer the best times to visit. 
During these periods, the weather is mild and there are fewer people than in the peak summer months. Piazza San Marco stands as the central square of Venice, housing the city's most famous landmarks, like St. Mark's Basilica, known for its Byzantine architecture, features stunning mosaics, sculptures, and paintings. Meanwhile, the Doge's Palace, a symbol of Venice's rich history, offers tours of its lavish rooms and chambers, decorated with Renaissance art. And for a bird's eye view of the city, you can climb the Campanile Bell Tower. Not to be missed is the Grand Canal, Venice's main waterway. Lined with historic buildings, here you can experience this beauty up close by taking a gondola ride or a trip on a Vaporetto, Venice's water bus. Venice also has its hidden gems, like Libreria Aqua Alta, a unique bookstore, creatively combats flooding by storing books in bathtubs and gondolas, adding to the store's charm. Also, Campo Santa Margherita, a lively square, provides you a relaxed atmosphere, ideal for enjoying a sip of coffee, observing daily Venetian life. If you're looking for any tips to enhance your own personal travel and help you manage your travel budget more effectively, click the link in the description. And remember to like and subscribe to help our channel grow.